funny nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 of nerdigans inc and this is the adorable soccer kitty zeno asagiri and today's boiling hot manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for and i mean boiling hot because it's literally 106 degrees in the glorious central valley of california um it's going to be for blue lock chapter 223 so before we get into this recap and live reaction let us just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me my adorable kitty and this operation alive too especially since our ac decided to die oh god why did it have to die now so we could keep bringing you more anime and manga content, let alone stay alive. Um, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, god damn it. Blue Lock has pushed me to this because Snuffy is the Vince McMahon of soccer. He is getting all the shit ready for WrestleMania. He's putting things in the works. He's using the Raw and... um. The Friday Night Smackdown. He working on his strategies. He working on his lineups. And the Berserker one did not work because of Noah. Even though you have a soggy, you know he's trying to that twenty nine cent McDonald's hamburger trying to act like a Big Mac. <laughs> no, I've not gotten a bacon cheeseburger. I have been good. I've been really good because I'm trying to get you know my body back, my good body back, because I would like to look hot again. <laughs> I like to wear sexy clothes on my, um, uh, on my live reactions again. You know, like my halter tops and stuff. I'm not there yet. Close, but I'm not there. But anyways, let's get to, um, this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Thanks to Snuffy's designs, um, Uber shifts up to a higher gear. Basi um, facing the world's great, uh, craftiest tactician, see? I'm telling you, this mofo is Vince, is, uh, Vince McMahon. Faster and Moochin are forced on the back foot as they struggle to repel Uber's unrelenting assault. All right, here we go. All right, next. Keep crushing them, okay? Dude, it's coming. The second wave. Dude, you are just a 29-cent hamburger at McDonald's. You are not even a quarter pounder with cheese. You're not even a value double cheeseburger, my man. You are not going to survive this. <laughs> our, de um, our defense is barely hanging on. Okay, how do we defend this next attack? Even my metavision is being outread. Well, no shit, you're a 29 cent uh, McDonald's hamburger. That's like the equivalent of, um, actually, that's worth less than the Dollar Tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh god you got like dollar tree i said less than dollar tree but i have to say dollar tree for the sake of this example this is like dollar tree metavision man grant i no i will not say it's like five five below no nah. well you know what for the sake of this i will because this is a better way of saying this this is like Trying to say that Asagi's Metavision is at beyond five below, when it's not even inside of five below. It's barely inside a Dollar Tree. There we go. And I'm talking about when it was actually a dollar. Shit, it, because Dollar Tree and 99 cent only store, nah, 99 cent only store when it used to be the 99 cent only store in its prime. Nah, Asagi, no, 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 no. Dollar Tree, yes, I could say that when, when it was in its prime, yes. The soggy is definitely more so heading into the Dollar Tree. But 99 cent store, no way. No, no ma'am. Not even close. Because 99 cent store, you used to get some good shit up in there. Anyways. Um, what kind of brain is inside that guy's head? Dude, that's a department store brain up in there. That's a high-end brain. That is Vince McMahon. I mean, like, what more can I say? I totally, oh God, this art. Oh, Blue Lock, you are dealing with the peak, the pinnacle of modern sports manga, Bungo, right now. And I covered it yesterday. Oh, Bungo is amazing. Oh, God, I know I'm going to be comparing Bungo's art to this. A totally different attacking pattern? If I charge in without knowing what they're up to, it's, gonna, it's obvious that I'm going to get shut down. 
you're gonna get a dude, it, seriously, if that's the case, observe their movements, analyze Snuffy's world-class tactics and thought process. Is this 29 cent hamburger gonna be able to do that? Well, I guess he's thinking like a big, oh god. Nah, he, I can't say that. No, he's thinking like a value uh, double cheeseburger. I'll give you that at least, Asagi. I'm not going to say you're thinking like a Big Mac right now. You can't think like a Big Mac. Because that's more, that's a Gary Stew type of thing. Nah. Nah. A, double, a value double cheeseburger, I will give you that. Ooh, they're attacking the space on the left? This time they're planning on using the entire width. Sweet. An entire width of the field and freaking us down with crosses. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see from the Ubers. Because remember, Ubers is an intense, it is supposed to be the best of the best in terms of defense. Yeah. So I'm glad to see this. But while everyone's moving to deal with, with uh, the cross, Snuffy's, um, Snuffy's slipping through our blind spots. No shit. We're screwed. Crap. Come on, someone realize Snuffy's wide open. Dude, of course Kaiser gonna realize it. Kaiser, as I said, Ky Kaiser is like the fun workers burger. He is, especially compared, especially compared to a twenty-nine cent McDonald's uh, hamburger. Kaiser is a fun workers burger. Whether it is a Kobe burger, nah. I, I said he was a Kobe burger because it started with the uh, with the K. Nah, he he ain't no Kobe burger. <laughs> Kaiser uh, would have to be like the premium, like the best of the best. He ain't he ain't premium, nah. But he's still a, a fun workers burger, especially compared to um, Asagi. Mm-hmm. I can see it, you shitty eagle nose bastard, but you're only just seeing, right? <laughs> see what I mean? Woo! So high, even though Kaiser got a body on him. See, this is what I mean by Kaiser being beyond five below and Asagi, like, not even being close to the door. He's more so, like, the, uh, he's more so getting into the Dollar Tree across the street. <laughs> Not even in the five below. Not even the same freaking parking lot. <laughs> God damn it. I'm so stupid. <sighs> God, Twitter. I'm, I'm mad about Twitter. Oh, no, I'm not going to talk about that here. Twitter has made me a very um, a cynical person, and it has really helped my sense of humor. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so high. Even though Kaiser got a body on him, he could still jump that high. Well, no shit, Asagi. What crazy body bounce and hold up play Dude, you got Vince McMahon there. What do you want? So we got um we got Nico we got Nico Iki versus of course Noel Noah. Dude, if if he nah nah that's not happening. Try and shoot Pip Squeak. It's fine. It's all going according to Snuffy's design. See, you don't fuck with Vince McMahon. No! And we're talking Vince McMahon in his prime. Not modern Vince McMahon. Modern Vince McMahon is a different story. Well, even with modern Vince McMahon, no, no. We're talking about we're talking about old school Vince McMahon here. According to Snuffy's design, look at my boy Borrow. Yeah, Borrow's a beastin'. Seriously, damn it! We're really at the end of our rope here. God, out of bounds. Uber throwing. We stopped it, but we won't last at this rate. No shit. The only reason we're still holding on is because Noah Kaiser. No, Kaiser myself! Oh my god! See, this is what I mean when he when I say he's like a 29 cent hamburger at McDonald's acting like he's a Big Mac. Or like he's this mofo um, acting like he is um, he's beyond five below but he's not even inside the Dollar Tree across, um, across the street in the opposite shopping center. That's what it's giving me. <laughs> That's a much of a Gary Stewart song he is. And it's such an egotist. Well, he is. It's ego as shit. But God. God, this really makes me appreciate Bongo so much more. I'm not kidding you. Bongo is the pinnacle of sports manga. I love you, Blue Lock. I do. But Jesus Christ, Bongo. Bongo is that girl. Bongo is that bitch. I love Bongo so much. The only reason we're still holding on is because Noah, Kaiser, and myself can read their attacks. You know, you might be able to read their, their attacks, but you can't do shit about it. Kaiser can actually at least do something. And same with the, uh, um, 
uh, same with Noah. Yeah, you got that kick out of there, but that was luck, let's be real. Since the three of us are covering the team's blind spots, we haven't conceded a goal. But even with us three covering, we're completely on the defensive and barely holding on ground. Barely holding our ground. Yeah, what's gonna happen when Noah leaves? You're fucked. Right now, I don't have the idea. Um, right now, I don't have the image of stealing the ball and attacking on the counter. Plus, Snuffy's completely different from Prince or um, Lavino. Unlike those two masters, he's not focused on scoring his own goals. Everything he does is all about maximizing the effectiveness of uh, his team's strategies. Well, no shit. Huh? So even that one's a bust. Dude, you're dealing with a strategist. You ain't dealing with... Uh, he has an egotistical maniac in his own right. F Fitz McMahon's an egotistical maniac. But he has his own way of doing things. There's methods to his madness. He's not using his superb body uh, bounce, physicality, or goal scoring ability as a striker. Yeah, he's been there and done that. Rather, he's using his abilities to help his team score goals with the tactics they came up with. I think I got it now. Snuffy's thought process. This guy, he's making sure that the rest of the team uh, follow their tactics like a uh, like a watchman. Yeah. Again, this is bare, this is why I'm calling him the Vince McMahon. No wonder he can outread my meta bit. A bitch! She's not the only one that can do it! <laughs> a good chunk of. Dude, did you not, do you not remember that a couple of them were able to do it? No one. Um, since Snuffy's focused on surveying the game, it's easy to contain a guy who's selfishly trying to steal the, uh, the ball to score goals. But I can't keep playing defensively and barely full, uh, foiling their tactics. I gotta seize the initiative and force Snuffy to react to me. Okay, now we, now I really gotta fuck up here. Bro, you are barely in the Dollar Tree. You are trying to not even go, like, if Kaiser is beyond five below, as I said, you might as well be going, trying to get into Louis Vuitton. You're not going, the Soggy, what are you talking about? You're asking, like, you're trying to get into Louis Vuitton. You're not even, you're not even inside the Dollar Tree across the street. Or you're barely inside the Dollar Tree on the other side of the um, same parking lot as the mall where Five Below is. You can't, like, even if you got across the street, you'd still have to get past the Nordstrom Rack and all that. You're not close, man. Oh, God, I'm thinking of, oh God, I'm thinking of the mall, uh, down, uh, mall near where I'm at. Where they have like the you're, where all the high end stuff is, you're not even near there, my man. You have to get past a lot of traffic to get up in there. You're not even close. You're not even close to the high end stuff. If I can't see further into the future than Snuffy, I can't. You want to see further? Oh my God. Hey, Saki Yoichi. is it hard playing against Snuffy? No, it isn't. Uh, um, yes, at this rate, it's only a matter. The core of Snuffy's. Oh my god, you're just telling him? You see what I mean by this mofo being a Gary Stew and being coddled? This is a problem. You don't see him doing this shit with Kaiser? No! Let him figure it out. The core of Snuffy's playstyle is Jujutsu. Jujutsu? Originating from Japan, many martial arts such as judo are based off jujitsu. Right now, and we're not talking about curses, even though I. Snuffy, please beat the shit out of him. I am begging you, please, please get him thrown out of the Dollar Tree at this um out of the parking lot where the Dollar Tree is at. Seriously, get him thrown out of there. Get him sent to the flea market. I, I can't with this. Even though you get good deals at the flea market, mind you, but still, like, no, no. Right now, jujitsu, um, jujitsu is a martial art that's being taught all over the world. It's also a way to send use uh, cursed energy too. Snuffy's incorporated jujitsu as part of his play style, which is actually pretty smart. Core training by um, the can I hate that he is telling him this. Why are you telling him this? Um, core training, biomechanics, close combat. Snuffy incorporated the principles of jujitsu and fused them with football. Thanks to jujitsu, Snuffy's already world um uh, world class. Hold hold up plays. Um, wait. Thanks to jujitsu, Snuffy's 
already world-class hold-up uh, plays and ball retention skills became even more refined, not to mention um, his passing and scoring. Strictly from a striker's perspective, I'm stronger than Snuffy, but from an all-around perspective, he's the more versatile and flexible football player or footballer, which is very true. In terms of overall ability, I rate him as rate him as the best player in the world. On top of that, his football IQ is off the charts. You know what that makes me think of? It just I have to bring up Bungo into the conversation. Um, it just reminds me of how like significant a catcher is. And this was brought up in, like, Diamond Oasis and Major as well. Is, like, you could be, like, the best fucking pitcher in the world, but you if you don't have a catcher, and if you're not on the same page as the catcher who is directing you, then you're fucked. That's what it's making me think of. You need a world-class catcher there, too. But if you have, like, a catcher who knows how to pitch as well, whoa, bitch, Ooh, that is that scary, man. On top of that, his football IQ is off the charts. Then how are we going to defeat him? No clue. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh -huh. Wait, huh? Where's the cool logic and rationality? What happened to verbalize, um, to verbalize your thought process? Like I said, I don't know. Ubers are moving as a team and efficiently um, launching one af attack after another. Meanwhile, pastors disorganized. Since most of us can't predict their attacks, we keep getting each other's way. Oh my god, I swear to god, if Asagi leads this team, I am going to be fucking furious. Don't do that. That's why I'm asking if you got any advice on how to effectively stop them. I just came here to tell you this. Hold on for three minutes. After the three minutes are up, Snuffy will leave the field and the situation will change. Sometimes being patient will help up uh, will help open up a path. Patience, efficient, overlap. Um, the game restarts with Uber throwing in. Patience, open a path. Hey, stop spacing out. The game's about to. Um, is this it? Sakiyoichi? With this, I probably can surpass Snuff- uh, No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, no, I refuse this- No. No, 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 no. Motherfucker, you ain't Bungo. You are not Bungo. No! Key piece, Raichi, what? Are you willing to- are you willing to die? The fuck? The future is always something that you create for yourself. Um, after talking to Noah, Asagi sees a potential way to turn the game back into Bastard's favor. Inside Asagi's mind, um, a winning formula emerges. No, 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 no. No, this, no, this is not okay. No. It's one thing if, you know, like, if this was, um, say, like, if we were in, like, Bungo, for example, and, um, you had, like, Bungo figuring this out, or Noda figuring this out, or Makoto figuring this out, it's one thing if it's like that, uh, where they figure it out, because, well, they've worked, and I'm not saying Asagi hasn't worked his ass off, but, like, prior to the match is like they've studied them they've studied you know their opponents but sometimes it's unpredictable and like in the chapter that i covered at bongo yesterday makoto we saw makoto studying um uh tayo's pitch and tayo's a fucking beast he is a goddamn beast he's probably like the best um pitcher in their age group this mofo is a beast and he's like, he describes himself as the sun, and I fucking love it. But the way how it was broken down and analyzed and all of that, it worked for me there. Like, the explanation worked. Here, in terms of Asagi, no. No, this is not okay. No, no, no. You see what I mean by Asagi being a Gary Stew? And this is what I mean when we have a 29-cent McDonald's hamburger acting like a Big Mac. No, this is not okay. This, no, if, I swear to God, if Asagi defeats Snuffy, I am going to be fucking furious. I will be fucking furious. Again, it's one thing if it's Bungo, because prior to, um, uh, joining the team, uh, joining CL, 
he like was throwing a ball against the wall for like hours at a time like you guys gotta understand with bungo bungo like goes non-stop like he has to be told like yeah sanki kind of gets that too but bungo it's different he's been doing this shit for a long ass time like bungo's in middle school like th this takes place in middle school and he was doing it since elementary school and he had to like he went to a co um he had a run in with the coach by chance and he had to learn everything from scratch and like refine his talent and then and he like he runs up and down stairs like crazy like he does it like 10 um like a huge flight is i know they can't do it obviously well in their workout room they probably can't but he does it like um he goes up and down these stairs like to this temple like up and down like i think like t at least 10 times or something like that the man is goddamn insane and then there's noda the best character I could compare the Metavision in terms of Metavision, Noda's the best one I could I could compare it with. Noda is definitely a prodigy. Noda is a fucking prodigy. And he can get away with shit like this. Like with what Asagi is doing. I could accept like Noda doing this in Bungo. And I could, and like hell, Noda was getting hits off of um off of one pitcher and he was uh, he was getting home runs and he wasn't fucking satisfied with it and people are like what the fuck is he doing because it wasn't you know what he wanted the other person in terms of blue lock that i can accept getting away with this i can accept like um nagi getting away with it uh, because again he's a prodigy i could accept borrow getting away with the shit i could accept jagiri getting away with this uh shit pakira not and not uh, all of them are prodigies mind you but, you know, you understand. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. I just, Isagi is the prime, and Koga too, and, and Kengen um, Omega is at Gary's Stew too. But Jesus Christ, Isagi, you are giving Koga a run for his money in terms of Gary Stews. Oh my God, I can't stand it. And that's why I'm stressing this to you when I say Bungo is like the pinnacle of modern sports manga and the peak of modern sports manga. I mean it, especially in terms of not just the art, but the character writing too, because you don't see this fuckery up in there. You saw Bungo, like, in, um, near the beginning, you saw Bungo, uh, even though Bungo, like, pitched a great game, after that, he got his ass whooped. He did. So... That and that right there within itself is what I wanted from what I want from this. I want Asagi to come off his fucking high horse. He's not coming. He's so close to coming off his fucking high horse a few times here, and he's still. And now you're giving it. You're calling him. That really annoys me. I wish that you, if you would have just given him like the three minutes until Snuffy leaves, I would have been down with that. But this shit really irritates. Me. Fuck. No one even having this conversation really irritates me. Why are you telling him this? Let Asagi figure out you're like this shit really makes me mad because it prevents Asagi from growing. It does. It prevents him from doing that. Like if Asagi would have figured it out and be like, whoa, those movement like he finding the flow, finding the movements, if he figured it out on his own, then I'd be like, okay. He figured it out on his own. Let's see if he can stop it. Maybe work with Kaiser to try and stop it. Give me something. I would be okay with it if he was working with Kaiser and stopping it. This shit right here, I just, no. No, no, no. I hope Kaiser stops his ass. I hope Aiku stop. That's another thing. Aiku, you better stop his ass. If Aiku does not stop Asagi, I'm going to be fucking pissed. Asagi needs to be, he, he needs to be defeated. I'm not going to, if they win, I'm going to be fucking furious. Because now, because of this, I want them to lose. I want them to lose. If Asagi would have figured, if they would have figured out how to beat Snuffy without Noah, you know, Noah telling him about Snuffy's, um, Snuffy's ability, I probably would be rooting for them. No, I'm not. Now I want them to lose. This is some bullshit. This is bullshit. Fucking furious. I can't believe that they, ugh. Again, go read Bungo. I can't stress it enough. Bungo, they figure it out on their own. You don't have this shit happening here where you have the coach telling them what to do. 
No, they figure it out. This is some fucking stupid, stupid shit. I just, oh, I don't understand. Ugh. I'm still, I know people are gonna be like, well, why don't you drop this manga? No, I'm not dropping this manga, even though I have Bungo. I love Bungo. Bungo is, I, I love it a lot. Bungo is, is everything. But I do love Lulok. I love Episode Nagi. Episode Nagi is giving me what I want. Even though the art needs to be a little bit more fluid. But and another one that really does give me what I want too, what especially what I want to see here, is Wand Dance and um, Baller Me Okoso. Those, yes, I'm counting them as sports manga. Deal with it. Those give me what I want in terms of character development. I need that here. I don't understand. I don't understand why. I, I don't know if it's the editor or what that's saying, let's make a soggy of Gary fucking stew. I don't get it. I hope the sales reflect it, too. They have reflected it before. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Kins Inc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Blue Lock content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That is in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.